Hi guys, today I want to give you an update on my apartment installation, solar installation. Um, I have here still my 245 watt Yingli, which I had connected before to a microinverter. A microinverter and which gives you an AC output and the problem with that was that it would only of course um, give me power during the day when I have sunlight and at night when most of the power is needed in the apartment uh, I would have nothing so I changed the, the configuration to a battery based setup and for that I bought a charge controller and also a new inverter and this is the new setup it looks a bit messy at the moment because I have connected a couple of things a watt meter here a voltage meter to it um, it's all in this plastic box here um, so it's well covered in the outside no water gets in um, and yeah so that's the charge controller here's the inverter and back here I have a 12 volt 100 uh, AH um, battery deep cycle battery the way it is connected uh, I have an outside I have a power plug here that is connected to my apartment grid actually to the circuit in my living room where the TV and everything is located uh, so a lot of stuff that is being used at night um, so this cable is connected to the to the output of the inverter the 120 volt output of the inverter and the inverter also has a USB port here and yeah so this is where the battery is connected to here's where the solar panel is connected to and the charge controller has a couple of display options here where you can see the voltage current voltage this back here is actually a temperature sensor and that's pretty neat because it gives you really uh, some some options here in terms of of display this is the maximum um, voltage that the controller lets the battery uh, be charged so this, you can configure this so once the charge reaches 14.1 volt um, the charge controller turns off um, or cuts the circuit to the battery so it doesn't get destroyed the, and what else what else so at the moment um, so the idea is for the system to be fed uh, the battery to be fed by the panel during the day and at night I want to feed the, the battery power into my into my grid Down here we have a switch, so uh, which is actually in line with this cable. So during the day I have that turned off while the battery is charging, and uh, at night I flip the breaker switch for the for the living room circuit in on, on my breaker panel to basically disconnect it from the power grid, and then I turn that on, and I have solar power in my living room circuit so at the moment you see there is nothing because I have I have actually disconnected the the living room circuit from the from the grid so there's now power no power here uh, there is nothing coming out of the inverter at the moment uh, no power is drawn from the cable from the circuit and I'll show you quickly the living room down here everything is off right nothing works the lights are not working and here is my breaker panel just to show you that it's off so the second one down here hard to see but I turned that off this one here Right. 
So, let me turn on the system. And let's see if some juice is flowing. Okay, flip the switch. Abracadabra, there we go. There we go. So what we have here, around about 130 watt, is currently drawn by my living room circuit. So that's basically lights here, uh, my, my internet gateway down there, uh, the cable box down here, hard to see. So yeah, that, that adds up to, to about what you saw on the display. Everything's working. TV is working. The TV is working if I turn that on. Okay. There you go. Powered by solar. And I take the one. To boot up, no signal. The cable box is booting up, um, but yeah, it's working. There you go, Amazon connection. Yeah, the the Wi-Fi router is still is still booting up, but yeah, here is a light that's also connected to the to the living room circuit. So this is pretty neat. Uh, like in the evening, you would basically run everything that you see here by by the battery um, or through the battery I've also started with a little calculation here updating my sheet my previous sheet where I, uh, I calculated how much power I consume on a on a weekday and on a on a weekend basis how much do I consume with all the devices that are connected to my living room circuit and then I calculated uh, what percentage of that consumption, daily consumption, I compensate with my battery or with solar power and I, I correlated with that, uh, that with, the, with the cost uh, that I pay at the moment for uh, per kilowatt hour and also what I paid for the entire system. So I paid 276 for the panel, 185 for shipping, 199 for the battery, 83 for the inverter, 57 for the charge controller, and 50 bucks for cables and connectors. So that actually brings me to a, uh, an ROI of 15 years. <laughs> With that little setup, um, I, yeah, the cost of the system is as being paid off in 15 years but it, the, the purpose was really not to, to save a lot of money uh, it really just to prove a point uh, that you can actually do something even if you live in an apartment set up and have yeah sort of a, a good location of course with regard to the, the sun orientation I mean I have pretty much five hours of really good sun back here um, so that was, uh, was of course a necessary condition and in my case the landlord so far has not said anything and this panel has been hanging here since uh, over a year um, so I'm pretty happy about that I know that's not not always the case but yeah just to prove that you can you can do some some stuff and you can compensate at least for uh, a portion of your your power and especially now <laughs> if there's a power outage and we had a few already since I live here in, in Virginia uh, my living room is lit up um, during the night and the next day I charge it again and um, it's it's pretty nice yeah so at least you can do you can do something while you're out of power and again this the system can be updated I and mean, this can be done much much neater uh, I will probably update it uh, now that I know that it works and 
improve it a little bit. Maybe add a second battery here so that I have even more reserve power. Again, a lot you can do to upgrade this, but I'm just, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. If you have any questions or, or comments, let me know. Uh, so far, I'm yeah, pretty happy that this, this actually works, and I'm looking forward to another night of um, solar-powered TV and internet, internet surfing. <laughs> Take care. Bye.